Hi friends, you are back with me, uh, Professor Girish Kukreja here. Talking about uh, the biosynthetic uh, pathways, uh, in the last few lecture series, we have been talking about uh, many uh, biosynthetic and uh, degradative pathways. We have learned about synthesis of almost all families of your amino acids, your purine pyrimidine nucleotides, your carbohydrate biosynthetic uh, pathways in uh, photosynthetic organisms. You will find all these uh, on my YouTube channel. Today, what we'll be talking about is uh, the biosynthesis of a lipid, uh, that is your cholesterol. Uh, cholesterol is something, uh, when we hear this particular word cholesterol, also, some of the people will get half of the heart attack. <laughs> so we have popularized it so much in that way. Uh, so negatively, uh, what you call as popularized molecule, that is your cholesterol. Uh, you, we directly link this cholesterol with the cardiovascular disorders. Yes, some, in some ways it is. Uh, talking about uh, the positive aspects of these particular cholesterol, it is an uh, integral part of the cell membrane of uh, so many uh, what you call as species. Uh, it is the precursor for so many, rather all of these uh, steroid hormones um, and also uh, the originator of your uh, bile acids uh, which is actually helping to uh, dissolve your uh, fats and all. So talking about this particular cholesterol, uh, 27 carbon compound uh, which is so essential uh, in your or uh, what you call as a body or it is required by your cells that almost all of your cells they can synthesize this cholesterol so even if you are not consuming this cholesterol as such uh, your cells are uh, having the ability to synthesize this particular uh, cholesterol from uh, simple precursor it all starts with your acetyl coa um, uh, if you talk about the synthesis of fatty acids it also starts with uh, acetyl coa but here uh, there is a different plan um, the cell has for uh, this particular acetyl coa so this 27 carbon compound starting from a simple precursor a two carbon molecule that is your acetate involving the intermediate formation of this five carbon intermediate uh, that is your isoprene so isoprene also you will find that uh, isoprene units they are uh, intermediates in number of what you call as uh, lipid molecules which have a variety of uh, biological function we'll be talking about these uh, different uh, class of isoprene molecules in uh, some of our next videos the entire pathway for biosynthesis of cholesterol is somewhat complex comprising of n number of steps. Today what we will be talking about is the four basic steps which are involved in the synthesis of cholesterol. So you start with your acetate as I told. So the first step is condensation. So your three molecules of acetate they condense together to form a six molecule intermediate that is your mevalonate. A common intermediate in the cholesterol biosynthesis a prominent intermediate is your six carbon uh, that is your mevalonate formed by condensation of three molecules of your acetate next is the formation of the activated isoprene so as i told a uh, intermediate formed here and this isoprene an intermediate in uh, synthesis of n number of other biologically active molecules and even uh, electron carriers and so on and so forth uh, the third major step being the polymerization. So your six molecules of your isoprene, right? So each containing uh, five carbon atoms, these six molecules of isoprene, they come together to form an intermediate that is your linear squalene. So there is a formation of this particular linear squalene followed by the uh, terminal steps of cyclization, uh, formation of the four ring, uh, what you call as your steroid nucleus. Uh, which may involve the steps like oxidation, uh, removal or uh, migration of the methyl groups and rearrangement of these to form your final cholesterol. So this is how basically your cholesterol is synthesized. So to summarize, the biosynthesis of cholesterol occurs in four basic steps. The first step, condensation acetate molecules three acetate molecules condensed to form mevalonate mevalonate activated to form a activated isoprene six molecules of isoprene units to form a linear squalene and cyclization oxidation and removal and migration of methyl groups to form cholesterol stay tuned with me professor girish kukreja for more in microbiology biochemistry and metabolism